Hello to all my friends here and abroad, to all OFWs, Balikbayans, and to all foreigners who wish to come and visit Philippines. I have a good news for you guys. On this video, I have two parts. So uh, stay with me and I will give you some quick updates about these uh, travel advisories. Okay, uh, part one is IATF uh, Resolution 168 made the announcement effective May 30, 2022. There will no longer be needed for pre-departure RT-PCR or negative antigen test as long as you are 18 years old and above and fully vaccinated, meaning two vaccinations and at least one booster dose, and you will be exempted. Wala na pong RT-PCR or negative antigen test before you flight. Also exempted are those 12 years old and 17 years old as long as they are fully vaccinated. And for those 12 years and younger, as long as they are accompanied by parents and guardians who are fully vaxxed and boosted, exempted na rin po sa RT-PCR sa negative antigen test. That's a good news. And uh, with this IATF resolution, they also lifted yung travel health insurance or travel medical insurance that used to be a part of the requirement. Wala na pong medical medical insurance needed okay continue is i would like to uh, say sorry to all those unvaccinated partially vaccinated or unverified vaccination for you guys you need to have rt pcr need to be done 48 hours before your flight and a negative antigen test laboratory based 24 hours before your flight and plus sorry again you need to have a quarantine in a hotel for five days from day of arrival and up to the fifth day a kailangan you have to do an RT-PCR on the fifth day at pag it's negative, then you can go home. However, you have to do a 14 days home quarantine. Yun po ang masaklap doon. Kaya I advise, before you plan to visit Philippines or to travel, kailangan nyo po ng vaccination. That is your option. Okay, let's go to uh, the part two, which is the uh, One Health Pass registration. Okay, another name for One Health Pass is Travel Health Certificate. And a lot of people, marami pa rin nagtatanong, is it still required in going to Philippines? I said yes. And are all citizens Filipino other citizens coming to Philippines are required to do uh, one health pass. I said again, yes. Even children, they have to have their personal health information that needs to be kailangan nyo may indicate sa one health pass. For those minors who cannot fill up the one health pass form, of course, parents are permitted to do it for them. Kailangan po kasi individualized po yan. And there's no option, yung sinasabi na group application, and there's no option to add one child to another application ng mga magulang. Kailangan separate. All children, all children have to have their own personal health information. Okay, how to apply uh, or register One Health Pass? You have to go online. You can see on the screen yung website. Okay, once you fill up the, the information, you will be, uh, and after you submitted it, I mean, you will be receiving an email of yung transaction number. The transaction number, you have to keep that and you have to uh, 
uh, believing that in continue filing for the electronic health declaration card or yung EHDC. Kasi from there, you will be given yung personalized QR code. Because the QR code is needed before your boarding to your plane. And upon arrival sa Philippines, you will also be needing those QR code and plus the other documents like your passports and other uh, that is needs to be presented sa immigration or upon arrival sa Philippines. Okay. Ang One Health Pass needs to be done within 3 days or 72 hours as you can see the screen in summary when to apply one health pass within 72 hours po yung one health pass and then once you get the transaction number you will go to the EHDC which is needs to be filled up within 24 hours, no longer than 24 hours po. Doon nyo makukuha yung QR code. Okay po, you can see on the screen yung summary. And again, like I said, it is mandatory na kailangan mag-fill up kayo ng One Health Pass. Otherwise, you will not be allowed to board your plane. Kasi you'll be needing your QR code. Okay po? Alright, if you have any comments or questions, just comment below. Maraming salamat po. Have a safe flight ahead. Bye-bye.